Hi guys, Nathan here, and what time is it? It's 1.27 in the morning where I'm at. I just got finished watching Halloween Kills, because it just hit Prime Video. So now, I'm going to rank all the Halloween movies, but I'm not going to put Halloween 3 in it, because that does not have Michael Myers in it. We know Halloween from Michael Myers. So we are not putting Halloween 3 Season of the Witch in it, alright? But let's get to, let's get right to it. We are going to start off with Halloween, which is the goat. That's the goat of the movies. With the goatness, that is the goat. Halloween was the goat. Halloween 2, I'm going to put out the goat too, because that's the second part to it when Lori goes to the hospital at the end. And we find out that Lori is related to Michael. Bloodwise as a sister. So where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Okay. I think this one's Halloween too. Yes, it is. Tell me to cover. Okay. So now, now we have to get to Halloween four. Hmm, that's when we find out Lori had a daughter and gave her up. But then Michael finds out she has a niece. That he has a niece and goes after her. That one was, it was good. It wasn't all right. It was better than all right. I think it was like one of the best ones compared to that. It, compared to that. But then Halloween 5. Halloween 5, it was, it was like, it was all right to me. Halloween 5 was all right. Kills in it were awesome, but I'm going based off story mode story wise, not kill wise. So basically, we have Halloween one and two as the goat, which are my which is the best ones. Then four at the best, and five at I. Right. So so then boom. So I think Halloween H two O, which I liked, I really did like. I'm not gonna put it. With four, it it was alright, but I liked it story mode wise. We get to see Mike, Michael. We can see Lori twenty years later, after the events of five, and all that, <laughs> and all that, and she has a son and all that. And then Michael comes back. Okay, all right, but then we have the Busta Rhymes one, which I thought was like f funny. Bro, bro, man, him, him doing karate at the end, and fighting Michael, and that one was I. It was, it was I. Hmm. Okay, but then we have Halloween. Which one was that? Was it said what? Halloween, the Curse of Michael Myers. That one we are introduced to Paul Rudd playing one of the. Uh, one of the characters, I forgot his name, but no one really remembers Paul Rudd for the my, for Halloween. They remember him for like working with Seth Rogen and his work with Ant Man and all that. But Halloween, the Curse of Michael Myers, was an ass. It wasn't the best. It was all right. My question is, I messed up on Halloween Four. I got to put that as awesome because I like that one. Halloween 5, like I said, it was alright. And all that. Now, we're going to get to the remakes of Halloween. Okay, I reason why I'm going to put this one as the best, this is my opinion, was because even though it was a remake, even though it was a remake, I felt like I got more of Michael's past in it than I did from the first one and second one. I got to see of a more of a... Mike was a kid perspective instead of just seeing him just kill his sister at and just kill his sister and then walk into the streets. So I say that one is the best. It's the best. It's not awesome or it's not alright. It's in between awesome and alright. It's the best. Because I feel like I got this watch and see more of a of a background percent a background interference of Michael. Yeah, the way they did it wasn't that good, but I felt like I got to see more of Michael's past. Even though it was a lot of just redneck stuff, but it was it was the best for seeing more of Michael's past. 
<laughs> so let's get to Halloween 2. When we get there, I'm going to say this one was ass. Because Michael was hallucinating about his dead mother and a damn unicorn. It was ass. I didn't like it at all. So, yeah. Now let's get to Halloween 2018. Just just forget about how, all the other Halloweens and Halloween 2. Forget about Halloween 2, 4, 5, H2O, Halloween, Curse of Michael Myers, Halloween... The Halloween Buster Rhymes throw that out the window. This just no. We don't even know if Lori was related to Michael Myers. We heard there were rumors of it, but they weren't true. People say so. Twenty twenty eighteen, which switched up story story a lot, which I didn't like. So I'm just gonna put that like because they did switch up story a lot. They changed the whole perspective on it, and you know, and they just called it. Halloween. They called it Halloween like they did Scream. Which threw me off guard, but they couldn't trick people like they did Scream 5. Because everybody knew Michael Myers. Michael Myers is like literally at the goat of slashers. So like that. But then we get Halloween Kills. I remember seeing this movie on my birthday, bro. It was awesome. It was awesome. I... Especially it was one of my first horror movies I've seen in theaters. The rest I really just saw at home. But for the theater experience and combining with the story mode. And all that giving me a lot more jump scares involvement. It was awesome. It was. My experience with it. The story mode. Like jump scares. It was awesome. And all that. And then Michael killing people. with the, Killing the fireman. It was awesome. But then Halloween ends. I thought it was a double snakes. Ass, but how the fuck do you like like get an apprentice? Cause that's what he basically did. He he Michael saw something in Corey, and so did Lori with the eyes she sees in Michael, bro. How the hell you allow your apprentice to fight you and basically take your mask? And I'm thinking that, oh, Lord, Michael, you need to get that mud back in blood, right? Pooh shiesty style. And I thought Lori still killed Corey. No, Corey came back. Michael killed him back in blood and got his mask. But then the way Michael dies, bro, is Corey pins a hand to the table, pins the other hand to the table. And the table's like in, in the middle of the kitchen. So Lori throws the refrigerator for on Michael, bro. And they killed him just like that. And then they said, oh, he ain't dead. That's, he ain't dead enough. And they grind his ass. But they could have done all of that in the first and second movie, bro. So, so, bro, it was ass. And I got confused at first and all that. The town turned Corey into the sh a new version of the shape. That movie, that the Halloween Ends was ass. The goriness was on the point. I got jump scares. I, that movie had jump scares out of me, but the story mode was ass. How the fuck you let that boy take you to the ground, choking when you allow him to take your mask? And I'm thinking, oh, we finna see the Michael Myers' full face. Full face as an old man, because we get a glimpse of it in the first one. Nope, we still see a glimpse of it. We see a burnt side. We really don't see his full face, bro. So, yeah. That is my full review of all the Halloween movies involving Michael. Mm, not involving Michael Myers, so we're not going to worry about Season of the Witch. That has no ties with Michael Myers. These do. And that is my list. Let's go over my list. Halloween 1 and 2 are the GOAT. Awesome is Halloween 4 and Halloween Kills. The best is Halloween 2007 Rob Zombie Remake. I is Halloween 5, Halloween H2O, Halloween... Resurrection, Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, and Halloween, 40 years later. And then, ass, the a, a double snake's ass is Halloween 2 and Halloween ends. Uh, this is all my opinion. If you will, if you will, put which ones do you think should go on your chart down in the comments. And like always, thank you all for watching this video. This is Nathan, the one talking about movies and not video games today. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. 
and post notifications so you know when the next video is. And like always, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.